team working quickly through their issues on first and second stages. And I'm sure all of the rehearsals uh, and simulations that they've been doing have prepared them to evaluate this data quickly to try to get us in for today's launch attempt. For those of you just joining, we have a brief hold um, at the T minus 40 second mark. Uh, the team is resolving one issue with the bleed purge on the stage two rafters. Um, like John just said, the teams are quickly working that and it looks like the flags are being cleared as we speak. So we should be able to resume the launch countdown any moment now. And it's worth noting on Starship that once we resume the countdown, it restarts from the 40 second period and then we keep exactly. going unless another condition pops up. So stick around because <laughs> uh, Starship could be going here real soon. <laughs> Don't walk away, that's for sure. <laughs> Amusing views here coming to us from Starbase, Texas. Uh, Reports first stage engines nominal. What a sight when the ground cameras at Starbase. We're flying at twice the thrust of the Saturn V heading to space. We're throttled down and throttled back up. Going through the period of maximum aerodynamic pressure. As the velocity increases, the density of the atmosphere is decreasing, Max Q. lessening stress on the vehicle. The call out, Max Q now. <laughs> Continuing to watch the first stage as we head down range. hundred seconds into flight. Our next major activity is going to be shut down of the first stage. The Houston tracking station now acquiring the vehicle. With shutdown, we will get separation of Starship from Super Heavy and ignition of the Starship engines. When Starship separates, we light up six engines in a staggered sequence. If all goes well, those six engines will burn for almost six and a half minutes. Onboard view from Starship. And there's views of the Raptor engines on the second stage as we prepare for stage separation. Now after stage separation, the first stage will flip and begin a boost back maneuver for landing in the Gulf. Continuing to fly, two minutes, 40 seconds. Let's get ready for main engine cutoff. Beginning the flip for stage separation.
as of right now, we are awaiting stage separation where Starship should separate from the Super Heavy booster. Yeah, Kate, right now it looks like we saw the start of the flip, but obviously we're seeing from the ground cameras the entire Starship stack continuing to rotate. We should have had separation by now. Obviously, this is uh, does not appear to be a nominal situation. Yeah, it does appear to be spinning, but I do want to remind everyone that everything after clearing the tower was icing on the cake. to clear the pad and make it this far into the test flight, the first integrated flight of the booster and the Starship vehicle. Live view there of our control center at Starbase, uh, which we refer to as Star Command. <laughs> as we said before, obviously we wanted to make it all the way through, <laughs> but to get this far, honestly, is amazing. <laughs> well, if you're just joining us, Starship just experienced what we call a rapid unscheduled disassembly or a RUD during ascent. But now this was a development test. This is the first test flight of Starship. And the goal was to gather the data and as we said, clear the pad and get ready to go again. So you never know exactly what's gonna happen. But as we promised, excitement is guaranteed. And Starship gave us a rather spectacular end to what was truly an incredible test thus far.